Oh yes. This. This looks. <laughs> you know what, Lex? You're right. There is no such thing as too much blood. This area is just mwah. So we start off with our lovely airport, which right now fits perfectly in because it's orange. <laughs> then we come to our lovely welcome signs, which have been spookified for the season. Once you go past <laughs> the, um, the blood trail, <laughs> you get to the lovely plaza here. <laughs> And we come over this way <laughs> to a lovely crossroads. We're going to first go down. <laughs> and we have our lunar crash site landing. Uh, we don't know specifically if someone died in the crash here. But there is some blood. Don't worry about it. Fauna Sweetie is the only one that lives down by the beach. There is some blood by her house. So, take that as you will. Now, this is her private beach. She has all to herself. It's a lovely, it's got a little cabana here for her. I'm not in the mood to change this. This is her private, her private beach. She, we, we are decorated for her. I'm not going to change it. She has a lovely hammock and she's got her surfboard board and her guitar. So we're going to leave uh, Fauna's lovely home and take the other direction from the Blood Plaza. <laughs> uh, that direction is actually the museum. It's not this way, but, you know, angled signs. We don't hold them too much at fault. If you go up, you get to the phone booth. And when you keep going, you get to the lovely space garden, which something terrible has happened here. We're not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, you can skip across to the lovely middle ground here. It's a good spot to take a read and have a chill. Um, behind us here, we have uh, the Jedi's um, training fortress area over there. We're not going to go over there at the moment. We're just going to admire it from here. Uh, doesn't look like there's too much blood over in that area. <laughs> but if we're going to head back over this way. And go past the uh, telephone booth here. Well, actually, no. We're going to go down and take the bridge across. We'll come back. We'll come back. I love the storytelling of Murders on the Island. I'm making this up as I go. I don't know the story at all. Um, so, as you come this way, um, there's the lovely moon, more blood underneath the moon. We don't know the tragedy. The story has not ma been made clear. Possibly the lights, yes, lightsabers don't cause blood. That's why there's no blood over there really in that area. Just some splatter from the island, but not so much in the actual Jedi area. Um, so if you head this way. Uh, you get to another lovely plaza, which is kind of a memorial to bugs. <laughs> There's just tons of bugs and things that have been immortalized here before you head up to our lovely museum. But we're not going to go there quite yet. Um, over here, you have the lovely Halloween picnic area. <laughs> the moon possibly did crush someone. You are correct, Ty. I will, I will agree. Um, so we got the lovely picnic that comes out to the bonfire. I think someone died at the bonfire. Uh, so far, we don't have evidence to suggest uh, who, who did the murder, but possibly they got thrown in the fire. I don't know. Um, there's a lovely... <laughs> A lovely area to rest here. 
before you head to <laughs> to the outdoor restaurant, there is a lack of blood here. This suggests no murders happened here, or they decided not to. <laughs> Jason came out of the ocean away. Don't send to the wrong. <laughs> Um, so there's a lovely outdoor restaurant here. Has been untouched by the tragedies that have occurred on Howlbrook. So, we're all good there. Um, if you continue this way, off, off the plaza, and we go along the beach, you'll continue to see more blood. Uh, we might be heading towards the source of what a tragedy has occurred. We are passing the orchard on our right. We will not be going into the orchard, but the orchard is there. Any questions while we are here? No questions? All right. Continuing on with the tour. <laughs> It appears we have come across some type of cult site. The trees might come alive. We don't know. We are not going into the orchard to find out. But it appears the dollies with the scorpions and the tarantulas have been doing some type of ritual here. Very scary. Very scary. Much concern of this corner of the island. Moving on. <laughs> As I said, the orchard is up here. We are not going into the orchard. Well, orchard is this. I have too many trees and I don't deal with them. <laughs> They're just all sitting here. There's no blood. Up here, I know that. So, we're gonna leave the cult. We're gonna run away from that. Run away from the whores. <laughs> if we go up, you can see we have uh, the lovely... Uh, the lovely... Gar uh, museum. There's not much blood up here. Nothing has occurred. Nothing to fear up here claps all around <laughs> moving on <laughs> on our tour we will head back across the bridge <laughs> you're just in time for the tour <laughs> we don't know about the trees the trees have we don't know if they are doing the murders we do know there is cult activity happening on the island however <laughs> So if we go pa back across the blood aisle, uh, the blood plaza, you will see something gruesome has occurred right here in the baseball chill area. I don't know what, but definitely someone died here. Does blood absorb into the dirt on your island? It might possibly... We have not seen it happen yet, but it could eventually happen. Bats are weapons. You are correct. <laughs> A true tour guide. Yes. We have not seen the blood go in. Baseball chill area. Sounds horrifying. Hi, Toast. <laughs> We're doing a lovely tour here. <laughs> um, so going off of this area, we come down. And we have a severed head... A uh, statue doesn't appear that anyone has died in the free area. I spoke too soon. There is more blood. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood on the <laughs> Yes, there is. <laughs> um, along the beach, this is our next beach. You can notice there's just flowers everywhere here. Um, more tragedy has occurred. We're not quite sure, but everyone's vehicles are still here. Fauna, sweetie, do you have anything to say here about the murders that have occurred? 
She just realized something, guys. What <laughs> she realized about the murders. <laughs> oh, nope. She just bought something extra that she didn't need. A film projector. Is this a clue? Is she giving us the murder weapon? <laughs> Fawn is acting kind of sus, guys. You know what? We should take this into evidence. She gave us a film projector. Maybe it has the tapes of what occurred on this island. <laughs> we'll take this into consideration. Hmm, anything on that film projector? We will have to investigate. But first, on with the tour. Maybe she filmed the murder being filmed. The horrible deed. Quite possibly. So, there's some blood in the restaurant here, so, and it's quite empty, so I think everyone ran away from this area. The music gives me some vibes. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> I think she gave us either the murder weapon or the evidence that she did something. Or she doesn't think we're going to be able to solve this murder. <laughs> um, so that was the restaurant. This is one of Fang's favorite things to stare at. He has vacated the premises and there is blood. I have a bad feeling that Fang has died. Very scary. I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, the store is still open, so that's a good sign. It's a good sign here. Uh, we also have... Flick in the flick in the pool. There's no blood here, so I don't think anything happened here. Same with in the music area. So we'll leave those for now. Bones, do you have any words about what has occurred on this island? It's real dark. He apparently came in our dreams. There's no blood on the dance floor. That's a good sign, guys. That's a good sign. I don't think Bones had anything to do with it, even though he wandered into my dreams. We at least know he's not Freddy Krueger. And this is Bones' house. You can tell because there's a bone on the door. Oh, yes, Sky. Do you have anything to tell us? You want to ask us something. We greet each other with Ello. Should we change her greeting? <laughs> Note, she calls me imbecile. <laughs> oh, you know what? Time to die could be good. Leading up to... Imbecile. Let's see if it fits. Freddy Krueger scared me a lot as a kid. I will never watch that movie. I don't even look at a picture of him. <laughs> so time to die? Whatever she says in that imbecile? I've not actually seen any of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Neither have I, Lunar. I haven't either. I have, however, done a body paint of Freddy Krueger. Actually, let me see if I can find it here. We'll wait to see if it shows up here. Did I not put it in here? There is Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Alright, we'll do time to die. Thank you, thank you, Lunar. Alright. Back to the tour. Uh, so this is the main actual plaza here. Uh, it looks like this is remnants of a time long ago when people used to do a thing called game night. My favorite R.A. humor is trick-or-treat. Nice. 
is from time long ago when people used to play musical chairs where you weren't allowed to destroy the flowers. We have not done one of these in a long time. So we must cry about it. There's also no evidence of murder happening here. We will move on with our tour. This <laughs> talk. <laughs> nice. Uh, looks like we have a lovely area for tea up here. Besides the mur the blood here, I don't think anything has happened wrong at tea time. The Mad Hatter and the March Hare and the Dormouse were not involved in whatever occurred on this island. But there is blood leading this way, so we will follow the hops. We'll follow the blood this way. Looks like there is a lovely home past the Jedi Temple. So we'll go this way, I guess. Uh, we're not going to quite go into the home yet. We're going to first follow the blood. Past and up. We have come to a, an abandoned campsite, it looks like. It does not appear... It, it appears um, Jason Voorhees was here. He got the campers. And left the blood as evidence. Or the bears, perhaps, came alive and killed everyone. We're not exactly sure which. Yeah, you can walk in this game. You don't have to run. You can walk slow. <laughs> right outside the tea house could be a room of tea. It could be, it could be. It might not actually be blood. But I think the rest of this is blood. So we'll, we'll go slowly through this area. We don't know if the bears come alive. We don't want to spook them. It does look like near the rock garden, something has occurred. Possibly someone's head was smashed. I don't quite no. You have to hold the up arrow like really slowly. A walk. Alright, continuing on. Looks like a uh, lovely fox tanuki thingy something or other named Red is wanted down at the beach down there. Perhaps he is involved in the murder. We don't quite know. Now we enter the rock garden area with stone hedge. There is a lot of blood here. Specifically near the lilies of the valley. I think someone went to a lot of trouble to get a five star island. Cousin is mad sus, I will agree. There is also blood by the graveyard. The blood tastes like strawberry jam. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. Since the bears don't appear to be killing us, we can run back through this area without problems. We should probably check this house out. It's got skull and crossbones. <laughs> There appears to be a skeleton in the corner. What do we think? It also looks like an abandoned temple of sorts. Interesting, interesting. Let's head this way. <laughs> mm, there appears to be some sort of ritualistic carpet on the floor and a lot of books. I think this person likes books. And they keep bugs in a cage. <laughs> it's so intense. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. All right. Let's let's go past the skeleton here. Spooky.
We appear to be in another section of the temple. And it appears all of the villagers that have ever been on this island are on the walls. Some of these are not at this island anymore. Are they possibly the culprits of all the people who had all the blood on the ground as if they've been murdered? <laughs> Let's take a closer look at these posters. Yes, so you are still here, you are still here, you're here, you're here. This deer is no longer here. Kinda sus. Possibly a death poster? Trophies? He still lives here, he lives here, she lives here. Le Honk does not live here. Le Honk went to f fairy. I do know that. Le Honk is alive. Bubbles no longer lives here. Is she th some of the blood on the ground? Raymond might have answers for us. He does live here. Absolutely none of these live on the island anymore. And Fang lives here. I think we found out who all the blood lives belongs to. We all know that Marshall has a murderer basement. <laughs> Alright. Heading past what could be the killer's kitchen. We don't know. We're going into this room now. It appears to be just a nice, lovely bathroom in the mountains. Appears the temple leads out into a lovely mountain way. Quite nice. Gives us no evidence to what has happened on this island. Shall we start upstairs or downstairs? In our investigation. I'll let you guys choose which way we go. Up or down? Up? Alright, upstairs we go. Appears just to be a bedroom and... Oh look! There's a painting of Jack on the wall. As well as Sky, Marshall, and Bo. Hmm. And a snapping turtle. All hail the mighty Jack, yes. Yes. Maybe that has something to do with it. Jack maybe demanded sacrifices? We don't know. <laughs> you're, you're so sweet. I love the way you're drawing your island right now. Thank you. <laughs> Painting or shrine? Good question, Emma. Good question. Maybe the basement will have answers for us. Down we go. Hmm. This appears to be an arcade of sorts. With a lot of really loud music. Five Nights at Freddy's, anyone? Are there animatronics ready to kill? This room? Or, or is this the Among Us? Was someone acting a little sus? Let's continue on. I didn't realize how scared, how I can make this like place literally like every reference to the book when I just don't blood on the ground. All right, we could hop across, but I think we'll go down for now. I'm trying to think of the path I want to take. All right, we'll go across the bridge here. So we have Skye's house here. She lives to a no lovely outdoor books place. There's not much blood around except for by this one singular community library. Maybe that is a clue, but it doesn't look like Skye is our culprit. There's not enough blood near this house. 
will continue on past another large area of flowers and flamingos that have no blood near them. They're not sus. Clearly the, the, <laughs> the killer hates nerds. <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thank you. Fang is home. He also lives next to the library. There is no blood. Very sus. There is some blood here by bows. But otherwise, not much. Marshall is living next to the pumpkin patch. We'll go that way shortly. Welcome back, Prestige. Bo has a lot of blood near his house. Eric, do you have any comment on this? He doesn't want us to sell our friends. No slavery. <laughs> update on update. I'm getting food. Mm, very nice. Wolfgang. He does have a Team Rocket t-shirt on. You are correct. This flamingo is hella sus by Wolfgang's house. He also has a lot of blood. Just like Bo. Very sus. We're going to go down for now. There's a lot of blood leading up to this little, this next little seaside house. Let's go take a look at it. There might be something. Wolf King is innocent. Hmm. And this charming seaside resort looks like it has something to do with mermaids. Thanks for the raid again, Foxtail. Looks like this is a lovely seaside resort. I'm not seeing any anything sus here so far. Let's check out the other side. I have a feeling it might be identical. But let's just see if I am correct. I am. The two sides are identical. Sus. Very sus. Does this third room hold any keys to our island adventure? <laughs> no, but it is different. Looks like a lovely, lovely place to get a massage. All right, then. I'm going to head upstairs first. Looks like it's a just a normal, nice gym. Nothing like too sus here. Just a gym. So I think we'll leave it there. And now into the basement. Oh, what is this? <laughs> it appears we have come across a prison. Orange is the new black, anyone? They're all headless. I think we have an issue here. Were these some of our missing individuals that had the blood? Or was something else going on here at this pleasant, lovely seaside resort? I'm not sure. Very scary. Very scary. The animals. The animals! <laughs> no, no, no. To the cage is full. <laughs> or trap, trap, trap. To the cage is full. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Continuing along the beach here. There appears to be more blood. But otherwise, not much clues. 
We'll go past these turtles. Hella sus. Maybe they are running away from what happened on this island. It appears someone has a fish corner. A lot of gold. A lot of gold. Hmm. Questionable. Questionable if this is what caused inside of the incident on Halbrook. We're not 100% sure. Continuing on. Not much sus happening around the, the pumpkin patch, so we'll head up the stairs. Looks like there's a lovely cabana here to get coffee or boba, it looks like. We have Sherb's house. Eric's house. We'll go by Eric's in a little bit here. Actually, we'll go up by Eric's now. Looks like there's a lovely heart lake behind Sherb's, and there's tons of blood. I think someone got a little jealous of Sherb. Or maybe they flew off the carousel on the pier. But otherwise, the pier looks pretty... Pretty innocent. Not much looks like it happened up, uh, back here. Not by the ice cream anyways, or any of the food. Something definitely happened at this park. Not quite sure, but there's quite a bit of blood. I'm concerned what happened here. By the ring toss. Steven is hella sus. Looks like Raymond is home. But otherwise, there's not much blood by his house. Though it looks like something may have spilled over from what happened by Stonehenge. Heading down. A little too empty, if you ask me. Yes, yes. The island... Seems to be lacking of everyone at the moment. I don't know where they are. Oh, we have found residents. They appear to all be by the plaza. Sure of you are by a lot of blood. Alright, that, that's the island door. There's nothing else to show. <laughs> that was every inch of the island. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. <laughs>